What if the family doesn't get along? That's a problem. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and there's a lot of that. There's a lot of uh, family dynamics where, where people don't get along. Um, and, you know, we live in a very complex culture. The world we live in today is, I think it's a combination of, of, of technology, which everyone is moving so fast. It's economic because uh, everybody's working. You know, so there's all of that pressure and stress, mm -hmm. and we don't have, we don't really have the integrated family connection. When I was a kid, my pa my dad worked, my mom was an at-home mom. You know, she cooked, and we went to private school, and we, you know, it was boot camp. We, were, it, but, but but they were there. There was a a solid kind of thing, but the economics of today's world don't seem to allow that. You know, and very often it's not even economics. People want to have everything, you know. The, the people get married and they want to have children and they want to have careers and they want to, they want to do it all. I, I, I personally, I think it's very difficult to do it all. I think it's a big challenge. And I think very often the family or the dynamic of the family suffers because of it, I think. What do you advocate in your writing? Uh, in terms of the bipolar, you mean? Or yeah. Uh, well, the thing that I advocate more than anything else is is, is becoming your own, uh, really your own advocate. And, and uh, uh, I I've been so fortunate that I've re I've really recovered from acting out in a destructive way. One of the things that people with bipolar illness do is that they act out, and uh, and that doesn't accomplish anything. It only creates only exactly What's acting out. Acting out is, is, is inappropriate behavior, uh, not uh, in the workplace or in a social situation where you're, you're uh, uh, acting inappropriately. When you're acting, I'm not going to mention a name, but we have a situation with our political situation now where <laughs> people are acting out in, I think, in, in inappropriate ways. And I think what it's doing We've had a problem with civility prior to this time, but I think that the whole playing field in the political arena now is, is, is making it worse. I think people feel now that they can say anything and do anything, everything is okay, and that isn't. We have a, you know, there is such a thing as a good old direction. People have to act in an appropriate manner, and uh, I, I think it's, um, and certainly it all happens, and you mentioned family, which is the key to the whole thing. It all happens in the dynamic of the family. Mm -hmm. Everything starts from the core of the family, and, 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 and we, we go out from there. And if the family isn't nurturing and isn't, isn't supportive and somehow isn't connected, then very often the results of, of, of the children, you know, mm -hmm. and we have, and we have a we have a really uh, uh, epidemic of, of our children today. I mean, I was shocked. I have, as I mentioned before, I have a home in Florida, and I wasn't that familiar with the fact of the drug culture or how powerful it is now. We have, a, we have a, a, an epidemic of something called crystal meth, which is, uh, which is a drug that all these young people are taking, and it causes permanent neurological damage. You know. What about all the actors? and producers and so on that uh, so many have died or they're alleged to have committed suicide. Mm -hmm. It was Richard Jenny, there was Keith Ledger, there, w there was Seymour Hoffman, there, there, there was uh, one after another, Oscar winners and, and yeah. t top of the line. But, uh, are these murders or are these suicides or are these drug cultures or what, what's going on in that profession? Uh, it's a combination, I think, of all the things that you've mentioned, but I think the, the bottom line, I think, is it's the drugs are, is the biggest problem. And prescription drugs. Mm -hmm. Prescription drugs in our culture are, are, are also epidemic. It's a, I mean, it's, we have a, 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 we've, had a, we've had a breakdown, I really believe, a breakdown in, in our culture. And, and uh, I think that um, I like to look at the glass half full, and I like to think that somehow or other, we're going to move forward from this, and things will happen they always have in the past. If you study history through every century, 
at the end of every century and the beginning of a new century, things have kind of gone haywire. I want to thank, thank you, down. Paul uh, Graffy, for coming here. And the book is From Paper Slippers to Paperback. And uh, go read uh, Inspiration. And one last word of hope. The best thing to do is to enjoy each day and every moment because each day is a gift and every moment is a gift. Yes, I do.